cannabis stocks, and CEO interviews brought to you by Rich TV Live. doing today this is your boy rich and i'm here with a very special guest it's nika domi how are you doing today nika <laughs> hey everyone it's been a while i know i've been pretty damn busy but now it's that season where we have to really get back into everything because things are hot out there so rich i wanted to ask you what are your favorite picks for 2019 which is around the corner yeah, it's a great question. Thank you, Nika. It's um, very exciting. Another year is almost done. Rich TV Live has been on live for almost two years. This December 16th will officially be two years that we created this channel. And here's my top five picks for 2019. And I hope they all bring you guys lots and lots of wealth. And I don't believe these are just good for 2019. I believe these are good for 2019 and beyond. In number yeah. five spot, making $20 million in the quarter, up 131% year over year, is Kush Bottles, K-S-H-B. It's a company I love. They don't grow any cannabis, okay? And they are in the picks and shovels types of company. They're a company that is an ancillary company in the cannabis sector. It's a company that I think has a lot of potential and their revenue is growing exponentially. I have a really high hopes for this company, and I think that they are going to be a monster. So yeah, I got Kush bottles at these levels right now, at these prices where they're at. I believe it's 100% buy for me, and I got them in number five spot. In number oh. four spot, another company generating 21.4 million in the quarter, and it's a relatively new company, is Cura Leaf. Symbol okay. C-U-R-A mm -hmm. in Canada. C-U-R-L-F in America, 21.4 million in the quarter, 289% year over year growth. I think Cure Leaf should be on everybody's watch list, everybody's radar. It's a company I want to own. I don't own it yet. I want to own it and I want to yeah. have it and I want to profit from it. I think 2019 is <laughs> I've going been to watching it last few days. Yeah. I think I've been watching the last few days. I actually also saw their new product line come out somewhere. I think it was on Instagram or Twitter. And I was actually really impressed. It looks good. And especially coming from a background of cosmetics like myself, I really was impressed with how they've put together their products. So lots of skincare in there and uh, and the health you know, benefits of the supplements. So that's really, looks pretty promising for sure. Yeah, I think Cura is one to watch. The next one is MedMen, M-M-E-N in Canada, M-M-N-F-F in America, 21.5 million in revenue in the quarter, 1,088% yeah. year over year growth, which is just absolutely staggering. I think yeah. MedMen yeah. is a beast. I'm taking everything in consideration. Okay. I really like the price in MedMen. I like they the went name. up today a little bit. They went up today a bit because they were a steal for sure at that four dollars and some. Yeah, uh, Canadian, they were, they were right? Even, so today they, I think they closed at four thirty-five, which was up six percent. And I've been uh, talking I'm, about I'm them. thinking of getting because I'm already holding a little bit. I went in with a very small position just a while ago um, because I really like how their marketing is looking from like definitely the retail perspective. I think what the customers will decide on the clients, the public, the general public out there is definitely what's going to be winning because they're the ones deciding after all in the end, right? So I think their idea with all that, um, you know, the marketing with the big beautiful stores and the beautiful spots, I like that and I think if they can match that with really good product going into those beautiful stores, we're on and I think they have a huge potential for the long run. That's kind of what I think. But, you know, again, we're here for just the education, right? <laughs> yes. So everyone remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here at Rich TV Live. I really, really, really like Ianthus. They're number two on my list. I-A-N in Canada. I-T-H-U-F in America. 
I love the deal with MPX. I talked about MPX today. They got another four licenses. MPX is a monster. Uh, MPX and Ianthus are amalgamating. MPX In alone. Mm -hmm. Yes, MPX alone generated 14.7 million in the quarter. Okay, forget Ianthus. MPX generated 14.7 million in the quarter, 233% year over year growth. And Ianthus has been one of the biggest success stories in 2018. I think yep. that success continues in 2019. And they're only at 90 cents, 92, I think, today. So <laughs> MPX is, but Ianthus is trading at $6 in Canada. Yep. And I think that Ianthus is going to be a beast. I think we're going to see them double sometime in 2019. You heard it here first from your boy, Rich. And in number one spot, a company Ooh, that I absolutely love, number one. a company that I adore, they are now, yep. they have grown by 260% year over year. 29.7 million in revenue in the quarter. I think they're priced right right now in Canada, right around 760. Um, Aurora Cannabis. I mean, everyone knows that I love this company. I've always loved this company. I've loved them since day one. They're now in 22 countries, 29.7 million in the quarter in revenue, 260% year over year growth. They just signed and acquired a company with stock in Mexico, a country with 130 million people. I think that this is obvious. Aurora Cannabis is numero uno in the cannabis yeah. sector globally. They are a global powerhouse, and that's why I got them ranked number one. What do you yeah, think? They have that? a very good long term strategy, I believe. And a lot of people, because I, I read a lot of comments on different things. So if you have a YouTube channel, I'll probably be looking through your comments. And, you know, I, I find that's a good way to see what the public is really talking about. And I see a lot of comments about Aurora that they are a lot of people's long term play. So they are definitely, um, their strategy is looking long term. And that's why they're acquiring so much to be this powerhouse. That's how I see it. So I think they're definitely a long term. Uh, hold for sure. I do have some Aurora from back in the summer. I believe I bought a bit and definitely um, going to be adding more. I, I wish I added more in the in the crash that we just had. So um, I, I'm a bit of a procrastinator, with, especially with a lot of you know work that I have at this moment with school. So I'm not always thinking clearly, but I um, I, I kind of want that to reverse now so I can jump back in at that you know five six dollar range. So. We'll see how that goes. But no, I, I wish Aurora all the best to, on the upside for sure. They're, they're, they're a really huge company. And another thing, I'm from Poland, and I just love the idea that they definitely went into the Polish market already, and I can't wait for more. So I'm encouraging them to really step, um, get the Polish government to step it up, you know? <laughs> all right, guys. You heard it here first from your boy Rich and Nika Domi. The top five cannabis stocks for 2019. Here we go. Number five, Kush Bottles. Number four, Cura Leaf. Number three, Medman. Number two, Ianthus. And number one, Aurora Cannabis. You can book it. If you like this video, smash the like button. Comment down below. Let me know if you like my picks, if you dislike my picks, if you agree with my picks. Let me know, okay? If you're not and winning... Follow my channel. I'm new, so help me out. <laughs> if you're not winning, you're most likely not watching. This is your boy Rich with Nika Domi bringing you the top five stocks, cannabis stocks for 2019. And we're out. Peace. Later. <laughs>